<laughs> What's up, pranksters? Welcome back. Well, I'm here playing some Xbox, guys. I'm playing some FIFA, my favorite game. Well, for the longest time, a lot of you guys have been asking me for some life hacks for gamers. Well, that's what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm gonna be showing you guys five tricks that will come in handy and they will make your gaming experience a whole lot better. So I hope you guys are super excited about that. And if you're a big gamer and love video games, hit that thumbs up button and check it out. All right, one big issue that I've always had, no matter what video game console I have, is the controller. The padding always wears off and eventually it comes off, or in this case, my dog chewed off the padding on the joystick, so I don't have any. Here's a really cool hack for that, guys. All you guys gotta do is get some hot glue and apply some on the top. It's gonna get sticky, but it'll give you that extra grip that you need for whenever you're playing those shooting games. So all you guys gotta do is this, apply some hot glue on the top and on the edge. So not too much, just enough guys. I remember when I first did this hack guys, this was back when I had the first Xbox. I don't have the money to go buy a new controller, so I used some hot glue and it totally worked guys. It made everything a whole lot better and I didn't get those blisters from my thumb always being on that hard joystick. So this really works. Now here's another hack for you guys with the same issue. If you don't have any hot glue, well, you can try the following. You'll need an old glove like this one. These are winter gloves. They're very thin, but they still work. They provide that extra padding that we need. And I also have a latex glove, which you guys know I normally wear them anyway. Well, here's what you're gonna do first, guys. You're gonna have to sacrifice this glove, but it's for a good cause. To be the best that you can be at Call of Duty, right? When it comes to shooting, you're gonna take the glove and you're gonna cut off the thumb. So get some scissors and just cut as much of the thumb as you can. Oh wow, now this glove is thumbless. So you got the thumb right here. You're gonna do the same thing to the latex glove. So locate the thumb, once you have it, cut it off as well. All right, so now you have both. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take the thumb that we cut off first and place it on our thumb. So put it on, and I know I'm already wearing gloves, guys, but this is just an example. See, there I have my glove right here. I know it looks weird. Well. This is perfect for padding, that way your thumbs won't hurt. But it'll get slippery, right? When you're playing, you're all into the game and your thumb slips, and it's happened to everybody, right? You think you got that shot and then, ah, oh, your thumb slips and then you miss. Well, you're gonna need some good grip for that, and that is where the latex glove, the little thumb comes in handy. So we're also gonna put that on. So put it over the other thumb. Perfect, look at that. Yeah, give this a thumbs up because this hack is great for you gamers out there. So, there it is guys. And now I have that extra grip and extra padding to continue playing comfortably. Look at that. My finger doesn't slip at all and I won't get those blisters on my thumb. So this is great for you gamers out there. Like I said, it'll come in handy for whenever you're playing those long hours of Call of Duty or FIFA like me. This works great. All right, so you have your own Xbox, guys, like me, but sometimes you don't want people touching your stuff. You don't want your little brothers or sisters playing with your Xbox. So what can you do? How do you restrict them and keep them from playing your games? It's very simple, guys. You go after the controller. Once they can't access this controller, well, they pretty much can't do anything with the Xbox. So here's a few things that you guys can do. You guys can get some locks and just place them on the joysticks it will be impossible to move, but still, you can still move them just a little. So, what I suggest you guys do is take a zip tie, like this one, and you're gonna attach it to both joysticks on the controller, or if you only have one, but make sure that it cannot be moved. So right here, I'm gonna attach it onto this controller, and I'm gonna tighten it so well that nobody would be able to undo it. Make sure that you are the only one that has access to these zip ties. That way you'll know if somebody cuts this zip tie off, that it was your little brother or sister and you can get upset and you can get mad at them and let your parents know that he or she's touching your stuff. So here it is guys, perfect. Look at that. They won't be able to move this joystick. They can definitely press on the buttons, but that's not gonna do them any much if they can't move the joysticks. So you'll definitely get them with this. They will not be able to play your Xbox. That way they won't mess up your perfect record online, you know, cause that usually happens, right? They log into your account and they start playing your game and then your level goes down. Well, not with this. It's definitely a great way 
to keep people from playing your Xbox or PlayStation 4 or Wii or any system that you might have. Here are a couple of snack hacks that will come in handy whenever you guys are playing video games because it doesn't get any better than playing video games and eating some yummy food like Hot Cheetos Extra or drinking a soda. So guys, here's one hack for you if you're drinking a soda and you don't have a coffee table in front of you, you have nowhere to put your soda. You're gonna need one of these cup holders. I got this at Walmart for about $1.50 it's totally worth it guys. You're also gonna need a piece of string or rope. Okay guys, so this is very simple. Here are two ways that you guys can use this method. The first one is you're gonna take your rope and you're gonna attach it on to the cup holder like this and then you're gonna join both ends like so. So just tie them on and you're gonna be hanging this over your neck. So place it on and look, now you have your cup holder hanging from your neck and you guys can put your soda on there because you don't have a coffee table and just continue playing. And then when you want to sip a soda, all you guys got to do is just sip, drink, and then you can continue playing your video game. And again, take the soda. This works great if you have a drink with a straw sticking out of it because you could easily just sip on it and now you're hands free and you'll be able to play your game without any distractions and without pausing the game to get a drink. Now if this method doesn't work for you, well you could also place this on your knee. Let me show you how. Basically you're gonna wrap this string or rope around your knee and that way you guys don't have to do much and it won't feel that uncomfortable. So let me show you. So here's my knee and here's my cup holder. All I'm gonna do is Wrap it around my knee, tie it on, and look at that guys. That's how it should look at this point. Just take your soda and place it on top and that's it. Look how awesome that looks. I could continue playing my video games and my soda will be resting on my knee without getting in the way, without obstructing my view. It's perfect for this. Look. And then I just put it back. See? And it moves when I move. So this is perfect, guys. Remember that for this hack, you're not supposed to have a coffee table like the one I have right here. So if you don't have one, these two methods that I just showed you are gonna come in very, very handy. Look, see? Perfect. Again, for this hack, I don't have a coffee table in front of me, so it's gonna be hard for me to be eating chips and playing video games, right? Nope, it's not gonna be hard at all, guys, because you're gonna be hanging these from the ceiling. We're gonna take our floss, and one end of the floss, guys, we're gonna be attaching to a push pin like this, but do not cut off the floss just yet. So first let's tie it on. So if you're doing this hack, this is what the floss should look like. It's got the push pin attached to it. Now we're gonna take this push pin and attach it to the ceiling. So basically just push it up. Do not cut just yet because we need to get the right measurement. So let's do this first. Let's put this on the ceiling. All right guys, here goes nothing. Okay, it's attached. And now I'm gonna measure down and adjust it well so that I can attach my chip onto the other end of the floss. I'm thinking this is fair enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut right here. It's long enough. Then I'm gonna take my chips. They're already opened. And I'm gonna take the floss onto my bag of chips. For that, of course, I'll be using a piece of tape. Before you attach it on, you guys might wanna make a little knot on the end. And then let's tape it on. And that's it, guys. Look, my chips will be available to me at all times. That way, when I'm playing, all I gotta do is reach into my bag, grab a chip, eat it and continue playing. It's a super easy hack that you guys can do at home and it makes everything so much easier. So now you have your chips on this bag hanging from the ceiling and then you could have your drink hanging from your neck or on your knee and it makes gaming so much easier for those of you that like eating snacks while playing. And that's it pranksters. Those were five hacks that will come in handy for whenever you guys are playing video games. Whether it's Xbox One X, PlayStation 4, Wii or whatever it is that you might have. You might even have a Nintendo 64 or a PlayStation 1. It doesn't matter. These hacks will come in handy and it will make the gaming experience more enjoyable. I know it's me out in so many ways so I hope that these tips that I'm passing on to you guys come in very handy as well now guys if you want to see more life hacks to deal with video games let me know guys leave me comments below or better yet give this video a thumbs up that way I know you guys like this video and I keep making more video game life hacks for you guys for now I gotta wrap up this video but I want to thank you all for showing up and watching this video I really really appreciate it and I hope you guys continue supporting this channel and my future projects thank you guys so much I'll see you pranksters in my next video. Oh, they're, they're easily cracking. Look at that. Yuck. Hmm, Kool-Aid. So we're gonna dump a little bit of this liquid ass into one of the corners of the bag. 
Oh, it looks like blood actually. Ah, oh, I still have some liquid ass that I'm gonna spray all over this trash bin. It's just gonna make things worse. 